Okay, I'm looking at row reduction here for a three by three simultaneous equation. So here's my three by three simultaneous equation. And just like the last time, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to write it out into a matrix form like that. So all those values have been placed into a matrix form. Now, I'm going to go through the row reduction quite quickly, but I'm going to show you what I've done here. I've taken the original row two and taken away two lots of row one. And that gets me two take away two, zero, 10 take away six, and so on. And I also want to get a zero here. So I take row three in the original one, and I take away five lots of row one. So that take away five lots of three, and that take away five lots of one gives me minus. That take away five is two. Now, on my next pass through, I would like to get one of these two to be zero. So if I do this one, take away four lots of this, that's going to get me that as zero. This one, take away four lots of this. Beg your pardon, I'm going to add minus 16, add four lots of this, minus four, add four lots of this, and two, add four lots of this. So that's going to give me the zero there anyway. That add four lots, that gives me zero and zero. And this one here, two add 24 also. Well, no, it doesn't give me zero. It gives me 26. So this is a problem because what I'm effectively saying is that no x's plus no y's plus no z's are 26. Let's just write that out. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No x's. And no y, so it doesn't matter what the value of x is, it doesn't matter what the value of y is, and it doesn't matter what the value of z is, I multiply them all by zero, and I end up with 26. That statement is wrong. Now, I haven't done any ma bad maths in this. What it actually tells me is that there are no solutions. Okay, so therefore, there are no solutions. So if you end up with zero, 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 but a number here, you simply have no solutions. Now, if you watched the previous video, you will see that I did this on a calculator as well. So let's get my graphic display calculator out. And I've already pre-entered these. Remember how you get to these? We go to the menu, we go to equation, and we execute. Let's exit out of there. And I go to three unknowns, simultaneous equations, three unknowns. I enter all those. They're exactly the same as this box here. And I solve. And the calculator says no solutions. So the important thing here is basically when I end up with this line, a zero, 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 but a number in here, then it indicates that I have no solutions to my set of equations.